Adult Enterprise is a fish cracker business. It was established on 31st October 2022. It was originally from Terengganu. There is two types two type and flavors of kudap dak. First, seaweed. It is a traditional flavor and BBQ flavor. Uh, second is kishaki, which is uh, original flavor. Uh, our vision uh, is commit to belong being a mountain is supply halal cracker and meet local and international taste. Our slogan is beli sekali pasti nak lagi. Uh, you guys can uh, reach us on social platform on Facebook and Instagram. Next, I will be explaining about some problems that we may encounter while we run the business. The first problem is hard to reach the market target. The second problem is a lot of competitors in the same industry. The next problem is hard to get in certain places. The next problem is an unclear identity for our products. The last problem was a lack of, a lack of value in the product or services. The first solution is learn the trend and make a clear target audience. Next, we will choose the different product from the competitors. Next, we will sell our product all around the country. The next solution is to promote the products and advertise it across the internet. Lastly, we will make sure that the product come in a good shape and improve the services from time to time. explain about the opportunity and our target market business so our target market place is a uh, student and also a uh, lecturer but we just uh, choose the lecturer from the faculty of information management and science um, so uh, we uh, we think uh, with uh, this uh, target market uh, our uh, sale is hard to get the uh, High income sale. Okay, now I will explain about the characteristic that our product has. Kudap Dap Enterprise uh, has decided on three things. First, uh, we has about the easy to carry. Second, tasty and crunchy. And the last one is hard and limited product to get in this rebound. Next is marketing strategy. Use fewer resources in the production of our product, social media and internet advertisement for advertising. And the last one is direct to customer marketing is our distribution strategy. Next is sales process. First preparation to identify and focus our effort on a particular group of customers. Next is approach them on social media. The presentation offer a variety of flavor of keropok. And the last one is follow up, keep in touch with customer. For the next slide, I will present to you about our financial projection of Kudap Dap Enterprise. So, this is our income statement of the company for three years, which are 2022, 2023 and 2024. I was in charge to calculate and have found that gross profit for 2022 is 538 ringgit, while for uh, the year 2023 is uh, 540 ringgit, while for 2024 is 620 ringgit. Then we will deduct with the total expenditure that include into our business to find the net profit for each year. However, our Kudap Dap Enterprise Company have no tax, so the net profit for 2022 is <coughs> 1,122 ringgit, while for the years 2023 is also 1,132 ringgit, and for the years 2024 is 1,928 ringgit. Next. We will calculate the accumulated profit in order to know the performance for our company. So this is where the profit of on the year 2022 will be added with the profit on 2023 to find the accumulated profit for 2023. Then 
to find the accumulated profit for 2024, we will plus the accumulated profit on 2023 with the profit 2024. In order to open our business, we need to set up money around 400 ringgit. Why our share capital is 1000 ringgit. So we had we have enough money to run our business. For my last slide, I will present to you about cash flow break events. For each year, we get surplus. We get cash surplus. It will be added with our beginning cash balance to find the ending cash balance on 2022. Uh, but for 2022, there is no beginning cash balance since we just start our business in 2022. So the ending cash for 2022 is 460 ringgit. 20 cents. To get the ending cash balance for 2023, we will carry forward the amount ending cash balance uh, previous year as our beginning cash balance for 2023. And same goes to the year 2024, we will carry forward the amount ending cash balance on 2023 to become a beginning cash balance for 2024. So then we will get the ending cash balance for the years 2023. We start to make proposal on 17 October 2022. We move to plan our business on 24 October. On 21st October, we register our business at Companies Commission of Malaysia. On 7 November, we acquire the location of our business on 11 November 2022. Next, we recruitment of personnel was created on 16 November. On 24 November, we start ordering our raw material, which is our fridge cracker. Facebook to market our brand on 1st November and Instagram was on 5 December. We start of production and operation on 7 December 2022 and we receive our first sale receipt also on 7 December. And lastly, we start to renew strategic plan for future on 3 January 2023. Conclusion, we hope to thrive in this food and beverage market. Second is we wish to boost the economy, support the booming putra by hiring Malaysian as employees, and the last one is aspire to become industry leader in food and beverage build.